Today we're going to learn how to paint this black hole. All right, so the question of the day is, when was the first black hole um, surmised? All right, let's run through the colors. Phthalo green, phthalo blue, quin blue, phthalo green, pearly red, quin red, hermer yellow, Indian yellow, burn umber, titanium white, Mars black. For layer one, what we've done is kind of start with a really dark perimeter, and then I work kind of a light purple, um, kind of this maroon, and then this uh, yellow, and then I had to do a white around the black hole, so it kind of, it's probably not what's truly around the black hole, but it makes it more pop, because you're gonna have this dark to light, and you're gonna have gases that I'm gonna add in the next layer. All right, for this painting, what we're doing is, this time we're gonna layer in the black and white clouds to kind of give this depth, and then we're gonna start layering after in the next layer. For this layer, we're going to start uh, using translucence colors to kind of fill in these white clouds and also the dark so that I kind of get more of an even space and we'll see how this works out. So the question is when people first thought of black holes and that was by John Mitchell in 1784, 64. <laughs> yeah, about the same difference. But he surmised that if you had kind of a solar mass of 500 suns combined, it would form this uh, black hole. Now, once people find out about kind of uh, light travel through waves, but they didn't know about the particle issue yet. So when they found it was waves, it's like, that's ah, impossible, or um, they kind of lost some momentum on the black hole theory. And that wasn't taken up till again in 1960. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So this one has a nice um, deep purple to blues with red and yellow at the center. Um, it has a very smooth transition. Um, and then it has obviously that nice black center, which I think is really strong in this particular painting. The white outline is probably the best out of all four. It has that little, just to highlight what you want a halo of stars as it spins around so fast, it kind of breaks the star into this really infinite spiral before it gets pulled in and I do think some of the splashes look more typical of a star starting to get wrapped up and thrown around comets pulled in so it has more of the action of the black hole itself I think in this um, the corners could be a little darker but again you want to contrast with the black hole itself so I didn't want to use black per se a pure black except for in the the center so that would be a high contrast point and I added the white line, which actually does exist around black holes, just to kind of contrast that. But that really is how they look now that we know we've taken our first photographs. So, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching, guys.